Hey, how's it going? And today we're taking another look at vehicle possession in Unreal Engine. I just did a tutorial using levels to get in and out of a vehicle, or get in and out, I should say, of a driving experience. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get in and out of the vehicle within the same level. So it touches on a number of topics and issues that hopefully you won't have any troubles with. So let's give it a whirl and see what happens. So similar to the first video, I want to come down here and you know get rid of these walls because there's no room to drive around and of course that's the whole point of it so we're gonna hit the space bar and we're just like we did in the last video we're just gonna spread out things here so we have some room and there's a lot of things you can do with this particular game functionality because it's primarily first person but you can use it to be able to get into a car so it's very in a sense it's very like grand theft auto in a way so anyway we got our level done and now we go we have to go get our car so we we'll just come here to add and we'll go to add feature or content pack go to vehicle and go add project i've noticed sometimes i have to hit that button twice so we've got to enable this plugin and it's going to want to restart if you don't get the restart message something's wrong so you've got to save select it and restart it. I think I mentioned this before, I'm kind of excited about 5.2 but then I'm kind of worried because I don't know what's changed <laughs> and I'm just learning 5.1. I mean I'm just learning all the quirks of 5.1. Okay so now we've got our car and everything's good. So we're going to be mostly working in the first person template here initially and similarly to what I did in the first video I'm going to put some messaging onto the screen just because I feel like that's what needs to be done to keep it to keep everything authentic you know so with the text render selected and on the details panel I can just type in here press press 1 to drive and then press 3 to escape and that comes in pr pretty big like it did last time Oops, what did I just grab there? What is that? Oh, it's just a block or something. Okay, so on the text render again, text render here, I believe there's a world size or something here that we can, it's the same as like the font. There we go. So we can make that a more reasonable size and hit F, we can get kind of down there and kind of make it like it is in the game. And this rifle, I just like to get it out of the way. And of course, there's a lot you can do with this environment. Okay, so now we've got all that set. We just need to get our vehicle. And we're going to use the sports car because it looks so great. And we'll just put it right on the scene like that. Right next to our player start. And if we hit play, we can take a look around. And obviously, something's already awry because I just fell off the world. So player start. I think when I stretch the world, it, it somehow messes things up. I don't know why. But there's the player start. I don't know why. So let's hit play again. There we go. Okay. So that's good enough. And there's our instructions. So everything seems fine. Okay. I'm not going to worry about switching the camera view. So we're just going to go with this back camera for now. Because we have enough of, enough of other stuff to do. So first thing we'll do is go into the first person blueprint here. And double click on that and we'll go ahead and dock this. And this is going to be triggered as we said in the instructions as a as a 1, press 1. So we'll go keyboard keyboard 1. And there it is right there. And then off of this, we're not going to do casting. I've been getting away from casting more and more lately. We're going to drag off of here and go get actor of class. I'm having more luck with this one than casting and we're going to get the BP first no I'm sorry we're going to get the sports car I think that's what it's called sports car pawn that's what it is okay and then what we want to do is we want to take control of it we want to possess it so the player controller is what controls all the pawns and characters and we're in the first person template right now so we just have to right click and get that player controller and that's really the star of the show here. And you see our player is zero one. one that's us. And we drag off of here, and we'll get Possess. 
and it's this one right there and it wants a target and so the target is our sports car so that's all nice and neat and set up and we should be able to take control now there's an issue now with 5.1 is that everything is index mapped and so what we want to do if we were to hit pile and save and try to play this is what's going to happen we can't take control of the car we're still in control of the first player but we need access to this car's controls the cars the controls that drive this rig so what we do is we've got to go in and get something we come down here and you see our enhanced input player subsystem <laughs> that's quite a mouthful but if we drag off of here we can go add mapping so basically what we want is we want we want to get the controls for the the vehicle pawn and it's a little tricky but if you click on here if you hover over you'll see where it says what it is so that's the vehicle template input right there see it under path but they all have the same name IMC underscore default we want that one right there and we just have to add it and then that should if I hit compile and save now if I come in here I'm still not in control oh, I have to press one now I have the car see with all the controls and everything else. Oops, I'm not doing very good on driving here. This is a lot of fun. Okay, now here's the second part of the puzzle. How do we get back to the first person? So this is great. This is all working. Fantastic. Well, I have to just escape out of the game because I don't have any way back. So now, in a sense, you have to think of it as the pawn now has control, right? Although I'm in the first person blueprint here, the pawn, I'm in control of that pawn, so I don't have control here anymore. I'm in a, I'm using this other interface. I'm, I'm out of control right here. I don't, I'm not in control from the first person. The, the, where is it? Vehicles, template, blueprint, sports car. This one is in control right now. So it doesn't matter what I do over here now because I'm not in possession. The player controller is not running this, it's running this now. So this is what we have to fix. So what we need to do is put the control back into our hands and we also have to be able to communicate to the blueprint first person. So we're kind of, I don't want to say incommunicado or something, we're, we're kind of exiled here over on this pond. So what we have to do is create a channel of communication between this pawn and the first person blueprint. And then we also need to enable a control that we can actually access. So we can access controls here. We can actually make a control for ourselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here where it says inputs. And we're going to come over here to actions. And we're going to right click. And we're going to go to input, input action. And I'm going to call this IA, to keep with the naming conventions, press 3, escape. Just so I know what it is. So I just hit save on that. Come up here on the breadcrumb trail. Click in here. And we can add a new mapping. So we click here to add a mapping. And this one, we just have to pick it. So it's down here, right there. And this is going to be, as I mentioned, the keyboard press. So it's not, not the left mouse button. Let me, let me get rid of that. I messed up on that. So let me do it again. Add a mapping. It's the press 3. And the, here we go. Keyboard. And I said 3, right? So now that's going to map a control in here. Okay, so now we just jump back in there, hit tab. And now these are all these enhanced functions. So if I right click, I can get access to them. So in okay, enhanced. I'm going to be able just to call it. Here it is. Here they are. So there it is right there. So now this is the same as if I put keyboard press 3. So started is the same as 
Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, what we need to do is we need to create a way to communicate with that other blueprint. So we're going to create, go ahead and let me get a, make an interface here. I'll just do it at the content level, I guess. I'm going to right click and go blueprint interface here. And I'm just going to call this notify unpossess car. It doesn't really matter. And then in here, what it's named. And then I come over here and I'm going to call this. This really is more important, but it's going to be called notify unpossess car. So this will open up a channel of communication. Now remember, it's on the receiving end of this blueprint that has to be enabled. So we're going to be calling this from the car to our first person player character. So on the first person player, this is where we need to enable that interface on the receiving side. I always got confused about that. So it's on the receiving side. So notify unpossessed car. So we have that over here now, and we'll come back to that in a minute. So we have our interface set up to communicate. So let's go back to our input actions. No, I'm sorry, go back in here to our sports car pond where we have this. And what we're going to do is we're kind of going to set up that channel of communication. So all we're going to do here is because we don't have control of the first person player because now we're under the, the player controllers controlling the pawn of the car. So now we can enable input on the pawn car. I hit three and it's basically going to send a message to the first person player to take back control. So this is, we have to do this because once this is a pawn, this this doesn't have any functionality. It, the controls here don't, don't do anything. The only control I have is for the car. So anyway, we're going to do kind of what we just did. We're going to go get actor of class. We're going to get that BP first person. So we go BP first person right here. And this will get us access that we want. We're going to go ahead. We need to set this. We're going to set it. So we're going to go object references need to be set. Most variables don't need, uh, they're de set by, to zero by default. So variables that you instantiate are set to zero by default. Object references are not set to anything. So that's a lot of times where all communication fails because the object reference is not set. So when we promote this to a variable, we're, we're setting it. So we're making sure it's set. It may already be set, but we're just making doubly sure that it's set. So we don't want to get the frustration of not being able to communicate. So the last thing we're going to do now that we have access to the first person blueprint is we want to call that event. So let me just come over here to the BP first person and it, all we have to do if we come to the interface we're just going to double click this and this gives us our event. So that's what we want to call from here. So all I can do is call well I can just look under notify unpossessed car right here and that should do it I believe so let me see do we have another option let me hold on just one sec yeah that should do it that that's a target so let's see well now we can come over here in here and then from here we just have a couple more steps so it's a little I guess this whole thing is a little a little tricky if you think about it so we're gonna come up here to the top and we'll go to BP first person here. And we just got to kind of take control back. So so now we're going to actually just reverse what we kind of did here. We're going to, we can just actually, as a matter of fact, I can just control D this. So we want to get that pawn player. And then we want to get our player controller. So actually I can just control D that too. Whoops. And then here we want to unpossess it. So we're going to go ahead and unpossess. And this should free us from the pawn, the car. We don't need to plug this in, that target in. And then all we got to do is just regain control. So we set up this mapping here and now we actually need to get rid of it. So we come over here and drag off of here, come up here 
and we're going to go remove mapping. So now we want to remove that mapping that we had already established. And so we just connect this up here. And here, it's, I believe, the second one. Double check on the pathway. And then we're going to repossess our player character, our first person. So we got to drag off of here, come over here, and get possess. Go possess. So we're repossessing. Let me double click this to do a reroute node to repossess our. And here, our pawn, we just need to right click and get a type in self and just get a reference to the first person blueprint, which is this. So it's saying basically re control. So let's just go over our workflow here. So we're in the first person blueprint. We press one. We're going to go ahead and establish a connection to the sports car. We're going to tell the player controller to possess it. And then we're going to grab a reference to its mapping control so we can drive it. When we're done driving it, once we, we're in control with this, we, don't, we can't use anything over here to communicate. We can only use controls here. So we added a press 3. We made a reference to our blueprint first person. And then we're sending a message back here. Hey, we're done driving the car. OK, so it gets a reference to the sports car. It unpossesses it. It removes the mapping. And then it repossesses the, the player controller to possess the first person again. So let's see if it works. So I hit play, press 1 to drive, 3 to escape, I press 1, I'm in the car, I gotta so I press here and start driving, I'm not a very good driver, I can kind of power my way through this, so then I'm driving, 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 having a good time, oops, don't let me go off the, oh, no. wait, okay, hold on, let me start over, <laughs> alright, so press 1 to drive, you got to hit, here we go, press one to drive, and I did a video on how you can switch your kind of your perspectives here, you back up, so this is pretty cool, okay, so there we go, we're driving, I hit stop, and there we go, and now if I hit three, I'm back in control of myself. Now I noticed that the car is gone, so I'm not sure where the car went, but, oh, is it over here? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's way back over there. Okay, so there's some things you can do to fix that, but the car is basically where I left it, so I teleported back to where I started from. So I play, I teleport back to the player start, which is fine. I, I don't see a problem with that. So you can also change the location to where you teleport, but there's the car again. And if I hit one, I'm back in the car, and off I go. Hit stop. I'll just crash into that. Hit three, and I'm back. Well, I'm teleporting all over the place, so I guess I'm teleporting to where I picked up the car. So that seems to be what's going on here. But that's really not a problem. At least I'm back in the world, and you can see me going in and out of the cars. There is another function to fix that, but I'm just going to quit right here for right now, and then I'll come back with a tutorial on how to teleport your location right back to where the car is. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.